What is gravity? And nobody knows really what gravity is. I do teach in a public school system. I did read that you guys pretty much question everything, correct? Yeah. It's fun proving someone's wrong because it's so blatantly obvious. Chemtrails, I'm not so sure what they are, but I know what they're not. The Earth feels flat to me. It's not easy to understand a vacuum. That is insane. Okay, if you're like me and you don't have many brain cells left to spare, you might honestly want to skip this video, but otherwise, if you think you're safe enough, I challenge you to make it all the way through this one, as we have a teacher facing off against a conspiracy theorist flat earther family today on Wife Swap, and yeah, the brain rot is real, as you could tell from that intro. Without any further ado, let's see if we can get 4,000 likes on this video, that would be huge. You guys showed a bunch of love on the last Wife Swap video, so I appreciate it, and with that out of the way, let's get right on into it, shall we? I would have a hard time going to a home that has no structure. I'm very, very organized. What she says goes. So this is the main mother that we're going to be focusing on today. She is an educator and she is very much about organization and education, obviously, because she works in the public school system and she's going to be facing off against a family that has completely abandoned the idea of sending their kids to school. Hell, honestly, they've kind of abandoned the idea of educating their kids at all. You'll see what I mean in a bit. But yeah, it's going to be a nightmare for her pretty much. We have our own language around our house. We don't believe in the public school system. Okay, so the family that she is uh, meeting up with are the Dutchers here, and they apparently have their own language. They're also not like your average American family, or honestly, at this point, they are kind of becoming like your average American family because they are very anti-education and also anti-government, and they think that whatever wacky teaching methods they have for their kids is a thousand times better than whatever the public school system has to offer. Let's see if that's true or not. Public schools are teaching kids how to play the game in the rat race. So I homeschool both of our children. The world is your school. <laughs> I love how she's like, the world is your school. So don't really look to me to be your teacher. Just look at the leaves and the dirt and try to take what you can from that, okay? All right, you kids stay outside for a couple hours and uh, we'll count that as school for the day. Awesome. Also, I don't even disagree with this woman when it comes to, you know, the school kind of conditioning kids to get ready to participate in the rat race that is living under capitalism in America in today's day and age. But, you know, there's better ways to attack this than just removing your kids from that system completely because you think you're better than it. There's still a ton of fundamental, you know, and also social things that they're going to get from being in public school that you are greatly depriving them of. I mean, I'm sure they don't know their multiplication tables or how to read as well as they should for their age. And that is 100% because of the fact that they don't want to let their kids go to school. History is twisted. It's a, a little truth here with a whole lot of lies. So you just met Kyle, the father of the house, and uh, needless to say, I think he's kind of the source of this conspirat conspiratorial, consp I don't know the word. See, even public school failed me, but <laughs> he's kind of the host of this whole conspiracy side of the family and their beliefs when it comes to that stuff, and uh, he's about to be rattling off some insane, insane lore for you guys, just in case you didn't learn this in school. Why is the moonlight cooler in the light than it is in the moon shade. What the hell does that even mean? And the pauses he's making while he's saying this stuff to try to sound so profound and so intelligent just does not work on me, dude. You are looking and sounding like a straight up dumbass whack job right now. Dude's basically kind of altering, you know, classic Jaden Smith tweets like, how can mirrors be real if our eyes aren't real? And just reapplying them to the moon and the earth because apparently that's his big, you know, op is, is understanding how the world could operate as a globe or how the moon works at all. What is gravity and nobody knows really what gravity is <laughs> i love how messy this show is with the editing bro oh he's like i don't know how gravity works or what it is and they show a great practical example in his day-to-day -day life him cutting down a damn tree that's gravity at work bro try to jump and stay up in the air that's gravity at work it's really not that hard to grasp the earth feels flat to me. It's not easy to understand a vacuum. I choose not to believe human beings travel to the moon. <laughs> I love how he's like, I choose not to believe. That just shows that he's really trying to just be somebody who's like anti-status quo. I think that's what a lot of these conspiracy, you know, nuts are all about. It's just trying to seem like they're a part of this elite knowledge that not everybody else in the world is tapped into. You know, 99% of us commit to the idea that the earth is a globe and it spins on its axis and all that. And he's like, nope, that's just just what mass media and the, and the public school system is trying to teach me. So I think I'm going to make up my own thing. Even though I don't quite get it, I'm just going to make up my own rules and play by those. All right. But you do you, boo. You know, the earth sits on pillars. We like to do our own research and see which one makes sense. 
to us. <laughs> How much you want to bet their own research? You know, they're not going to be following any, you know, scholarly institutions or reading research papers. No, f- that. Instead, the research they're going to do is going to be in these private, wacky Facebook groups where posts from either AI or other, you know, helplessly lost boomers that are stuck in this conspiracy pilled ass mindset are just posting about the most ridiculous things with these giant red circles around, you know, clearly photoshopped or AI images. And they're like, you know what? I think that's what I'm going to base all my information and my whole personality on. Yeah. Screw these science textbooks. What do they know? I'm not just going to believe some doctor in a lab coat comes up and tells me just because they got an education. You're telling me just because this guy devoted what? I don't know. What is it like 12, 16 years you got to do sometimes for certain doctorate professions? You're telling me because they basically did double the amount of school that you're supposed to do that they somehow know more than me, especially in their very specified field that they've been studying? I don't buy it. We do not embrace the public school system at all. So this offends me. So obviously they're making the switch now and uh, this teacher is taking great offense to the fact that they don't believe in the public school system. That's basically like saying your job sucks and we don't believe in anything you do. And as we all know, public school teachers need to be applauded because God, they have one of the most difficult and underpaid and underappreciated jobs in modern society. And they really do catch a lot of flack from these new age, you know, spiritual, crazy conspiracy people. Now, when I talk about teachers in this way, do I claim that the public school system is perfect? Hell no. But obviously to just say that all teachers are useless and that the entire system needs to be thrown away is ridiculous. We also believe that 9-11 didn't happen the way we've been told and that humans have never been to the moon or traveled space. Damn, they're hitting all the classics, bro. Also, if you notice it's weird, you can't believe in like one conspiracy theory. It's just kind of a slippery slope with a lot of this stuff to where it's like all got to be lumped together. <laughs> I don't buy it and I don't get how they lie to themselves either. But this is all true. Public schools are teaching kids a whole lot of lies. Well, man, I'm excited to see how you teach your kids as we're surely going to see some of their, you know, nature classroom at play here in a moment. And I'm willing to bet that he's going to be teaching a lot better than they do at the public schools. Also, he knows this woman's a teacher, so he's pretty much saying to her face, I don't give a damn how much time, blood, sweat, and tears you put into your career. I can do it better than you, and I'm barely trying, which is just a hilariously stupid take. This family is really ridiculous. It's fun proving someone's wrong because it's so blatantly obvious. Oh, God, bro. <laughs> this is one of those times where I'm just like, okay, do I even include this clip? Do I just skip forward? Because, I mean, mid-20s YouTuber making fun of a kid, that, that never looks too good. But all I'm going to say is they are really depriving this kid of uh, the social aspect of school where there's a lot of social correction that goes on with this kind of attitude. And I'm sorry, when this kid goes out to the real world, it is going to be brutal. I mean, that voice and that attitude <laughs> and just that know-it-all ass phrase he just said, oh, man. I don't understand why something that hasn't been touched, seen, or smelled, like the moon, can be believed, taught. Somebody get this guy some moon to smell so he can shut the hell up and start believing in it, please. I mean, can't you order like moon dust off the internet? I swear I saw some on this website, like the Silk Road or something, but maybe that wasn't real moon particles. I'm not sure. It's just, you know, somebody else's imagination, you know, so, so then why can't I teach my imagination? Oh my God, that statement was so stupid. I don't even know how to handle it. That is American individualism at its finest. Yeah, all these other peoples get to live in a fantasy world where they're, uh, you know, basing their education based off of actual scientific fact. So why can't I live in my imagination and teach my kids to live in their own imagination? You don't gotta believe in anything in the world. Yeah. You know, like you gotta be careful because governments put chemicals in our food, and stuff like that. And damn, even something as simple as making breakfast with their homegrown artichokes and tomatoes isn't enough for this man to just shut the hell up about some conspiracy theories for like more than 30 seconds. Government this, public school system that. Like, dude, you really are obsessed with this whole thing and it's taken over your entire life and brain. As far as uh, education goes, we like to teach them about nature. Okay. Ooh, I'm excited for this. All right, it's time for the classroom. Make sure you get your pens and papers out. We're going to be taking notes and we're going to try to figure out how science truly works because I don't care what the education level is out there of any of the people watching this. You do not know as much as this man. All right, so we're about to learn a lot. So that tree... It's about an 80 year old tree. Okay. From what I, I mean, guesstimate. All right, so we're starting with guesstimation of trees. He doesn't really explain how he guesstimated the 80 year thing. I think he just kind of threw a number at it, but you know, we can't expect him to know everything. Let's keep going and see if we get some more very educational content. What's uh, these berries? These, be uh, <coughs> I do not know what that is. Okay, he's honest. He's honest. He knows his limits and he knows when he doesn't know something. You know what I'm saying? I just said no a lot, but again, you got to be smart to follow along here. This is really only for high intellectual people. So dummies get out. 
This right here would be considered a leaf with leaflets. So what makes something a leaf exactly? I don't know how to answer that, man. All right, I'm starting to think maybe he doesn't know as much as he thought about nature, which that's kind of their whole angle of like how they teach their kids. Apparently they just dead ass go on walks through the woods and have them ask them questions that they have no idea the true answer to. So they either BS it or sometimes admit that they don't know something. But I'm willing to guess most of it, especially when the cameras aren't here, is just BS. And the kids are like, yep, dad and mom know everything, so I'm just gonna believe them. I don't understand all of what I read. I still am learning. I just learned today that oranges aren't supposed to be orange. I literally feel my brain turning to sludge or like all the ridges are just smoothing out and it's becoming this perfect texture with not a single groove in it. Like he is just singeing off all of my remaining brain cells every single time this dude speaks. I also love how he admits, I don't know much of what I read. Like, yeah, that's the issue. You don't like feeling stupid. So when you read something that you don't understand, instead of trying to understand it, you just say, oh, to hell with this, it's fake. And you make up your own conclusion, which is crazy harmful to be teaching other people to, you know, operate throughout the world like that. That's the datapedia, I'm the kidapedia. Yeah, we're just gonna move on. All right, no more comments on this kid. <laughs> I can't, all right? I really can't. I don't understand how there can be a molten lava core. So now he starts talking about the earth and how he doesn't buy that, you know, in the core of our earth, there can be just this big amalgamation of magma. And he claims that because nobody's drilled that far and seen it, that he can't find the proof for it. So I want to know if this dude's religious personally, because if he's really against not believing in things that you can't tangibly see or feel, I'd be real confused if this man's just, you know, totally buying into all that and being like, okay, I can't see God, but I can feel him in my soul. So that counts. But the earth definitely flat. A round ball earth shooting through the uh, universe. I don't know all the mm -hmm. math. I'm just saying, just ridiculous speeds. I mean, they didn't have radar guns back then. Wow. <laughs> and he claims that we didn't have radar guns back then when we figured out how fast the Earth is traveling through space. So how the hell would we figure out the speed? Dude, how did you think they measured that? Do you think somebody went out into space, which you already don't believe that we can do, with a, like, police radar gun, and they somehow scanned the Earth, and we're like, okay, this is moving at 14 million miles per hour. Nice. That is not how this works, but this man just has the most rudimentary understanding of all of this, and that's why he doesn't get any of it. My grandfather was an aerospace engineer, and I don't think he had any idea. You know, I don't think he was in on the secret either. And now he starts bad-mouthing his own grandfather, who apparently was like some aerospace engineer. It's so funny that, you know, from that same lineage, you can have somebody like this who's so anti-science. But he's like, I'm pretty sure I'd actually be smarter than my grandpa right now, because he was making this, you know, Apollo 13 all for naught. They weren't going to go to the moon with it. It was just a big operation in order to fool the public. What do you want to be when you grow up? A chef and an astronaut. My grandfather works on planes, and because he does it, I want to do it too. So she's asking what the kids want to do when they grow up, and the one girl says she wants to be an astronaut, which is a little bit confusing, honestly, just uh, coming from somebody in this family. Wonder what the parents feel about that. And the other kid claims he wants to go to college, which then she has him sit down and try to figure out which colleges he wants to go to, and just wait until you see what sort of response that gets out of him. Bro gets assigned his first ever assignment that's sort of like something you'd get in public school and just cannot handle it. You need to take a quick break? If I need a brain break, I can just lay in my bed. So yeah, he claims that he just had too much of having to research colleges. He just wants to go to one, okay? So he doesn't want to have to learn beforehand. He just wants to get accepted to one. He doesn't have to figure out how it's going to be paid for. Again, this is somebody who's operating from the mind of someone who just has not developed in the way they should have for his age. Granted, he's not college age or anywhere near it yet, but if this is something you're wanting to be serious about, you need to start taking some steps. And clearly, he does not want to take those steps. You guys are a conspiracy theorist. Being called a conspiracy theorist is hard for me to accept, and we all have to. Dude, if you don't want to be called a conspiracy theorist, don't believe in all these conspiracies. I don't know what to tell you. He's like, I wish you guys could just call me a truth acceptor because I'm one of the only people in the world. Well, besides, again, these people in my Facebook groups that I'm on uh, that are constantly sharing this stuff. We're the only people in the world that actually understand the truth, unlike you sheeple. We all have to fit in to a certain extent, but not so much like a zombie. I'm sort of a woke zombie. 
Okay, dude. So, honestly, that's about as much as I can take of this dude. There really isn't much left of this episode. Thankfully, they kind of end on a happy note. Both of them admit that they uh, have different parenting styles, but they both want the best for their children, so hopefully there will be some changes made. The only post-episode update we receive is basically saying that while the mother is now helping the son with his college prep, Kyle is still questioning everything. So, it seems like, honestly, not much did change, nor did I expect it to change. But damn, was that some crazy science lore, like I said. And if you learned something in this video, make sure you drop a like, or if you just felt like you got progressively stupider as time went, also drop a like. It's kind of a like or like situation. I don't know what to tell you. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching till the very end, and until next time, peace out.